What's going down, y'all? Let's get back to it for this Saturday, November the 19th, NBA slate over on Prize Picks. I hit the model. We looked at the books. We got a couple of plays that we want to recommend. It's a lighter slate tonight. A lot of players sitting out, so we don't want to force anything. We'll walk through the model. We'll walk through the data. We'll talk about the players. Take what you like. Leave what you don't. Just hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and like the content. But before we get into it, got to recap the plays we talked about yesterday. Kelly Oubre, first half points. Told you to smash that. It looked rough early. He had zero points after the first quarter, but he did cash that. And then Bradley Beal, more than one and a half, three-pointers. He had that in the first quarter as well. Oubre did not hit his points and assists. Tyrese Halliburton let the world down with 29 and a half points and assists. Did not go over that number. And then Dylan Brooks, the player Jay recommended his rebounds at three and a half, did not cash. And John Morant under eight assists. He was diming up everybody last night. But again, got some good plays today. Not going to force anything. So let's dive into it right now. For all the high flying action, take a step back and relax. It's time to count that money, the NBA props, no look any further. You know what time it is, presented by Prize Picks, NBA props, let's count that money, man. All right, so right now, everybody seems to be uh, hurt for Philadelphia. No James Harden, looks like Tobias Harris is doubtful. I just saw that about 30 minutes ago. He's doubtful for the matchup, no Tyrese Maxey. So it's going to be the Joel Embiid show, but we're not going to target Joel. I want to talk about Jaden McDaniels, his first half points, more than four and a half. That's Rudy Gobert. Where's McDaniels at? Here he is. More than four and a half points. He's cleared this over his last five, averaging 7.2. Again, potentially no Tobias Harris. And if you look at what McDaniels has done this season in the first half, he has only gone under this number twice on November the 1st and then October 24th, where he had two points apiece. But outside of that, he has cleared his first half points in every single game this season. It's not by much, but he's getting it done. If you look at what he's doing in the first half, the minutes, he's top three in the team in first half minutes, uh, right behind Carl Anthony Towns and, uh, and Anthony Edwards. And he's getting up about five to six shots a game in the first half. So with Cat probably having to deal with some Joel Embiid, this could open up some opportunity for McDaniel to get in there and score. I really like this number at four and a half. I'm going to go over Jade McDaniel's four and a half first half points on the slate tonight. I also wanted to go to the other side of the court and talk about Joel Embiid. And there are a lot of people under on his points tonight. I'm seeing that get as high as uh, get as high as 34 and a half on some books. But I want to talk about Embiid's first half fantasy score of 28.25. This is one where uh, I know versus Utah, right? He he cruised over this in a in a, in an incredible performance where he dropped 59 points. But let's take a look at Embiid's first half fantasy score this season. FanDuel's fantasy score pointing scoring system mirrors Prize Picks, so this is what we're going to take a look at. And he has only gone over this 28.25 number twice this season. It was the game where he dropped 59, and look at his field goal percentage: 57% field goal percentage. And then on November the 12th versus Atlanta, he had 32 first half fantasy score. And again, he shot almost 60%, 58.3% from the field in that matchup. Even with five turnovers, it didn't matter because he scored so many points. But if you're just thinking about what the probable game strategy is for Minnesota, it stopped Joel Embiid. This is a high number. This is a high number. We saw him go for 25.3 yesterday. So for me... I am going to brave the waters and take an under on Joel Embiid's first half fantasy score versus Minnesota. I know a lot of people don't like taking unders, uh, but I have no problem with the under Joel Embiid fantasy score in this matchup. And then I also want to talk about a play that is not currently up right now, but it will be posted after the first quarter of the game. And go, 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 go look for it once it gets posted. So let's just go to the first half and talk about it. Um, because he's not on the board yet, because the second half uh, props are not available right now. But Anthony Simons, his second half fantasy score, you see first half, he's averaging about 15.1 over his last five. Uh, he hasn't hit this number 14 and a half in back-to-back -back games. But let's take a look. Go over to Stat Muse and look at what Anthony Simons has done in the second half as far as fantasy score. Remember, FanDuel most closely mirrors, and it does mirror, uh, prize picks fantasy score and they normally open up Anthony Simons right around 14 and a half or 15 and a half second half fantasy score if it's at either number 14 and a half or 15 and a half I'm taking the over on this one right here uh, Simons has hit that number in every game except three games 
this season where he's gone over 14 and a half or 15 and a half second half fantasy score cruising past that he had 22 and a half versus the Nets his second half minutes are high he's getting up the shots I like the points tonight so a play that is not currently listed on the board right now but just stay on the lookout for Anthony Simon's second half point fantasy score if that thing drops at 14 and a half or 15 and a half Hit the over, take that in the second half, and combine that with your favorite second half player. I know a lot of y'all do that on prize picks, but I really like Jaden McDaniels. His first half points, over four and a half. Joel Embiid, his first half fantasy score, under 28.25. There are a couple other fringe plays that I'm looking at. I know a lot of people on Fred Van Vliet with nobody else in the building. This play, this this point total is juiced to the under a little bit. Uh, no Gary Trent. We know Pascal Siakam is out. I kind of like it versus Atlanta. I would take the over on this one. Not going to recommend it as a core play, but just letting y'all know, being transparent, I'm going to play Fred. Who the hell else is going to score? I know OG had a big game the other day, but Fred should get his shots up versus Atlanta. Uh, so I like that 22 and a half number. Again, not a core play. I do like the under on Joel Embiid and the over on Jaden McDaniels first half points. There you go. Take what you like, leave what you don't. Just hit that thumbs up button on your way out of the building. If you do tail some of these picks, good luck. I hope you get prize picks hell. And if we fail, man, that's the betting world. Y'all better bankroll manage, power play them bad boys. I don't do no six pick, five pick flexes. Power play, two pick power plays is how I rock with it. One unit per power play slip. And I am going to power play this one right here. So hopefully we win some money tonight. And if not, man, we'll be back tomorrow. The, the grind never stops. We got you for free. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out. I appreciate y'all being here. I'm out. Peace.